Back in 2018, Yes was on the road at the winter meetings in Las Vegas, and so were Jimmy, John Boy O'Brien, and his partner, Jake Storiali. They snapped a quick picture on our set, and now a little over three years later, they're with us in person in our Yes Network studio. And guys, by the way, great to have you here, but kind of feel like you breached security to get on that set back in Vegas. Is that the case, Jimmy? I think I think we had security take the picture, so we're clear <laughs> there, but we did wait it out till everyone was gone, and then we said, hey, Maybe let's snap a pic over there. I think picking up the mic scared us. Yeah, Jake, it was interesting because your face there, there was a little bit of <laughs> something going on. Concern, distraction, I'm not sure what. Yeah, now that we're reliving it, I think it was a, a picture for a we'll leave the room type <laughs> trade. So, yeah. you know, it ended up working out and now look, not bad, right? Yeah. You look at what you guys have been able to accomplish. It's been a meteoric rise. At the beginning, how much did you ever think that, hey, maybe one day we'll end up partnering with the Yes Network? It was our big vision. We never thought we'd go bigger than the Yankees, which we kind of at one point pivoted to say, let's cover all of baseball. But that was our tent pole was like, maybe we get a show on yes. And that was our big thing. But I, I like to say we had a lot of people doing the dreaming for us, and we were just kind of chugging along and putting out content and, and letting it take us where it will. Um, but that was one of the first, like, goals. Well, let's look at some of the key elements of this partnership. And under this partnership with Yes, John Boy Media will produce exclusive content for the Yes app, including a pitching coach series featuring David Cohn. And there will also be plenty uh, of watch parties with the John Boy team during games. John Boy programming on Yes Linear is going to include the best of editions of Towing the Slab, which David is also a part of, and the Talkin' Yanks podcast. So Talkin' Jake, let me ask you. Then people know Talkin' Jake and John Boy. That's obviously how they know you on Twitter. How do, you, how do you like the podcast? How much do you love just the idea of talking baseball every day? It's the best, right? I don't have to tell you guys. It's a, it's a dream, man. I, uh, you know, I did some real world stuff for a while, and I'm uh, very happy to be in this real world now. So, it's uh, it's great, and we're uh, we're Yankee fans. Like that's that's what it is. That's what we built everything on, and. Uh, you know, I, I think we've gotten to be pretty honest about some of our takes on guys, some some stuff that, you know, we'll, we'll be careful. Now we're getting friendly with these guys a little bit, but you got to be real, and it, it's fandom. Like, you can be, you can give tough love one day, and I'm going to love you the next day. So that's what it is. Bob and I both work closely, obviously, with David Cohn. I wrote a book with David Cohn. It was 400 pages. It could have been 700 pages. How excited have you guys been to tap into that pitching wisdom that Coney has? Hey, he taught Jake a yeah. uh, nasty slider. I, I thought I was going to get the splitter or the two-seam grip from him. Uh, it turns out I already had it. Jake needed a lot of help. He got the slider from him, which uh, we'll have people wait and see, but it's nasty. <laughs> well, I need to know, Jake. You're, you're coming up here with it. Yeah. Coney had the Laredo. Are you able to drop down and, and throw the Laredo slider? So that was a big bonding moment for me and Coney. I'm, I'm willing to pull out any trick. I'm down <laughs> here. I'm down here. I'll come up here. Uh, no, Coney, uh, we, we had some fun with that because I'll, you just need to get the out, right? That's all you got to do. However it happens, get the out. All right. Now that's helping you with blitz ball, which you guys are a huge part of because you're going to the finals of season one. You're the pitcher, Jake, on the team. H how has that for you, Jimmy, evolved into just kind of a love for, I guess, what could have started as sort of wiffle ball, but now blitz ball is different with different rules, right? You can throw it a little faster. You can hit it a little farther. It uh, hurts more when it hits you. And, uh, yeah, Jake and I started playing in the back alley of our office in the Bronx uh, because we just needed to get outside a little bit. We spent six hours on microphones, and we started tossing around and then said, maybe people will enjoy us playing against each other. And that turned into us playing uh, at the Brewer Stadium, American Family Field. It turned us playing at the Renegade Stadium. And now we have our own warehouse. We turned into a, our own stadium. So it's been a pretty fun evolution. I, I just said I'm getting too old. I, I have maybe two years left of, of pitching uh, in the style I do, so I'm open for all challengers. So the folks who are watching right now, everyone's jealous that you get to talk pitching and get advice from David Cohn, but Bob and I are jealous of this as well. These watch parties that you're going to have, Bob and I do the pregame, and then we eat a hamburger, and that's our little two-man <laughs> party. party yeah. You guys, you're going to watch that game, and there's going to be a lot of fun and a lot of camaraderie. 
Yeah, it's something we've been doing a, a little bit. And hey, there's there's some natural reactions that happen when you're watching a game that sometimes you're like, ah, oh, maybe it would be better if that wasn't on camera. But that is what people come to see. And it's it's always a little embarrassing to watch yourself celebrate is what I found <laughs> <laughs> because you just are in the moment. So those are really fun. And we have a lot of fun talking to the chat and the community that are watching with us and uh, bouncing uh, conversations back and forth and reactions. So those are a blast. Open invite. Yeah. If we're recording, we'll, okay. we'll find room for you I'm guys. Sure we'll find a bring way a burger. Wait, we have to bring our own burger? You're not going <laughs> to oh, bring, bring me a burger? <laughs> Come on, Come Jake. Come on. <laughs> hey, get, getting back to towing this lab, working with David Cohn and James Smythe, who also works with us in our research department, you know, you guys started as fans, but as you know, analytics have become huge in baseball. David and James embrace that. How has your view of that changed and how much, let's say from three or four years ago, do you maybe incorporate more of that into your thinking? I have a saying I say a lot is I reserve the right to change my mind. <laughs> and I think that I am seesawing with <laughs> analytics every day where I'm like, I love them, I love them, I love them. And then I'm like, oh, but I don't like that one, I don't like that one. I think that's the best relationship to have is you personally have to understand what do you like and, and believe in and what do you dislike. And I think that goes across the board for each team and each fan. But David does a great job of, of making that blend understandable for the average fan. So when this partnership with Yes was announced, I'm sure your phones were both blowing up. I know I snuck a text into both of you, but there had to be someone in that group that you heard from that even blew your mind. Who is someone that congratulated you today or reached out to you today that was unexpected or that really meant a lot to you? You know, there's some childhood friends. Yeah. That I'm like, we know each other still? <laughs> okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Uh, I don't know. If there's, did you get any big names? Yeah, that's tough. I can't say Jack anymore. He took yeah, that. Yeah. Um, trying to think who else, man. Who was in the DMs? So a couple players from other teams around the league yeah. that uh, maybe aren't that familiar with, with the Yes Network or the Yankees region because they've been on the West Coast. That They're just happy for us, and they've, they've watched what we've done and been appreciative of it. So... Uh, all of those responses are great, but I will tell you, we have a community of fans that were with us from 2017 when it was a hobby, and it's those names in the replies and, and the texts that I see those, and those are the ones that mean the most, because to be with us for five, six years now and still celebrating with us is uh, amazing to me. That's what kind of uh, the most uh, ones that choke me up the most. All right, Chris so I, oh, go ahead. Chris, Chris Rose, yep. uh, who who works with us, but he's still he's Chris Rose, man. Yeah. Like he's yep. that was a big one. Cole Tucker on the Pittsburgh Pirates, like it's uh, it's pretty cool, pretty cool little baseball family that that we're part of. Let's go back. Who was your first, in your opinion, Jimmy? Your first big interview that you got? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, Jake and I probably workshopped a text or a DM to Jack for three <laughs> hours, like middle schoolers trying to ask a girl out uh, for like a lunchroom date. Like, what do you think about that? What do you think about that? And we sent it, and he responded right away and said, of course. We said, man, we probably overthought that, huh? So Jack was our first uh, guest. I think the technology would be hilarious. Like I said, I was holding my phone up to the mic. I was in California. He was in Denver. But that was huge for us because uh, that was when it was still a hobby, and we just were so scared of... Uh, being seen as two idiots on Twitter. So You're, you're going to make me tear up, Bob. They, they, <laughs> I'm so proud of them. But no, in all seriousness, you could tell from the beginning the passion mm -hmm. that they had. And that's what I love about Jake and Jimmy is that along the way, they've had to pay their dues, but they they've have that passion and that energy. And you guys have carved out a niche that didn't exist. You speak to college journalism students and people who want to find their career path. You guys dug out a path and figured out a way to do something that you love, and, and you deserve a ton of credit for that. 